Listen, we have been talking to some extraordinary kids today. My next guest was severely bullied because of her weight. So instead of getting mad, this 10-year-old created an all-inclusive fashion line. This year, her clothing was even featured during, check this out, New York's Fashion Week. So, please welcome Ethan and her mother, Dr. Reba Curry. Thank you for being here. What inspired you to start your uh, chubby line? Chubby line was created because I was bullied, as you said. And I knew that being creative was my comfort zone. And I thought that I can take this and I can make this into a business to help other kids and other people feel better about themselves. Amazing. Amazing. When, when your daughter comes to you and says, you know, I want to take this to the next level, what ran through your mind about it? I would never a doubt what she could do. And I just said, okay, let me get the paperwork in order to make sure that you have a legal business in place. And then the rest was history. But I knew that it was very important that she continue giving a message about an anti-bullying campaign. Well, well, indeed. Tell us about your anti-bullying campaign. My anti-bullying campaign is called Bully Chasers. And I go around to the different schools and tell children about what you should do if you see someone being bullied or if you're being bullied. Wow, I like that. Yeah. Thank you. When, you dream, when you dream in your mind, you think about the future, where would you like to see Chubby Line, say, five years from now? I dream dressing Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know, that might be possible. Each of you brought a few models here with us. Let's bring some of those designs out and let's talk about what we have. Okay? Good morning. Yeah. So tell us what we have here. I have a piece where you can wear to either a wedding party you could wear out to as a regular day beautiful wonderful give it up for her so let's see your next look oh wow this is one of my prom after party pieces this is on the highest demand for selling wow one of her prom after party pieces. Wow, oh, man. She's working that thing. She's giving up for us. Thank you very much. Let's bring out our next model. You might recognize him. Noah's back. Tell us what Noah's wearing. Noah is wearing a shirt that has accent pieces on the sleeves, the pocket, and there's a back panel. It's beautiful. Give it up for Noah. Thank you so much for showing us your fashion line. Are they exquisite? One more time, let's celebrate them. If you think this is a joke, I got news for you. Egypt's clothing will be available soon at Macy's and Rue 21 stores across the country. That's incredible. gift for you. It's one of my pieces from my t-shirt line and I got you a bow tie and a handkerchief. You did? Oh, you know, I will rock a bow tie in a minute now. That's beautiful. And your name is on the back of the t-shirt. Oh, and, and my name. Come on, show me what you get. Show me what you're working with. Let me see. I like to get gifts now. This is a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. No hate, just love. So the next time I get on social media and they say something mean, I'm going to put a picture of this up there and we're going to chase the bullies around. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh, you got me a pocket square and a bow tattoo? I'm going to rock this. <laughs> That's so sweet. No, you can't have my stuff. Up next, we'll find out what inspires these extraordinary kids when we come back.
coming up, what would you like to see the next president of the United States do for homeless people?